Hey, I'm Hambone. I'm Lil Gizzard. Uh, we're Haggis. We're a men's core band from uh, California. Cool. Uh, and uh, what is men's core? Uh, we like to classify ourselves as men's core. Uh, it's kind of a combination of men's core and gore grind. But men's core is essentially more punk infused grindcore. It kind of was coined by Gothicles back in the 80s just with more leftist politics and straying away from some of the shittier aspects of grindcore, such as, you know, porno grind, misogyny, stuff like that, bad metal attitude. So, yeah, we started out just as a, an Agathocles kind of worship band, and since have kind of transformed a little more gore grind these days, but, yeah. Cool. Um, and what... Uh well, you said Agathocles is so uh, kind of the band that you uh, stylize yourself to, but uh, in a sense. But what uh, what inspired you to actually make grind? Uh, Agathocles. Yeah, <laughs> AG definitely just, AG. Yeah. We just I just wanted to start a band that sounded like AG. It's been my favorite band since I was a kid, and just wanted to play some some simple men's core stuff and uh, I did the first demo myself and he joined the next day and we've just been cracking at it for the last five years since yeah. and yeah that's just our favorite shit and yeah uh, we just kind of started playing more core stuff uh, mostly just because we've been playing together for five years now and instead of just recycling like the same riffs over and over um, it's more of a matter of becoming better musicians and working well together. So uh, we still stay true to our men's core roots for sure. And we both grew up listening to punk and stuff. So we like to keep our flavor of grindcore punk and not metal, you know? Yeah. Uh, why uh, Why is there only two of you? What uh, What's stopping you guys from getting another member? We've had quite a few bass players over the years, but you know, uh, people, come and go for their own reasons and the two of us it's just we've been down with it since the beginning and it's just been hard to find someone that's you know as into it as we are yeah and on the same page as us you know we've uh, been at it for five years and this will be our eighth bass player we've gone through so it's it's not really by choice that we're a two-piece right now but um uh, eventually we'd like to add a bassist again but Every time we we jump into someone, you know, it's either they're a great musician and our personalities don't click as much, or our personalities match great and they're not a great musician. But uh, bottom line, it's just kind of been hard to find someone who's on the same same page as us. You know, we're both like crust punks and grew up listening to crust and, and not so much metal and stuff. So well, most of our influences are from crust and DB and punk and stuff. You know, so. That's really what we listen to when we're not playing grindcore, and that's kind of how our, our writing style comes to be, you know? Like, uh, take a lot of influence from different 80s, 90s punk and crust and try to, you know, transform that into our grindcore sound, so... It's just hard to find a bassist that's on the same page as us, you know what I mean? Like, wants to play that style but also knows all the bands and likes the bands that we like and wants to write like that you know a lot of people into grindcore these days have more death metal backgrounds or metal backgrounds and yeah we just haven't found the right person but hopefully we will see <laughs>
cool. Uh, so, what is your uh, lyrical content about? What, what do you guys write songs about? Well, for lyrical content stuff, we we get classified as like gore grind or mid score stuff, and uh, to me, a lot of bands these days that classify themselves as mince core kind of stray away from like the true meaning of mince core like by default mince core is like a leftist aspect of grindcore you know politically fueled by leftist politics and stuff like that so by being kind of more gore grind these days we get lumped into a lot of porno grind stuff and uh people just assume that we're a porno grind band when we're both vegetarian and both you know, like I said, grew up with punk roots, so we try to incorporate like our punk morals into what we do with Haggis. And basically, lyrically speaking, we speak about vegetarianism, uh, animal rights stuff, but also we're very like anti misogyny, anti sexist, anti chauvinist type stuff. I really feel like that has no place in grindcore whatsoever. And so many bands these days either, you know wipe it off or you know porno grind bands will make you know rape jokes and be very sexist and as if it's not an issue when it just that has no place in grindcore or, or punk you know like so we just try to take a stance on that kind of stuff and some people hate it about us some people you know hate our politics some people love it but you know yeah not for everyone but you know that's uh well I mean that's music and uh, at least someone's uh, taking a stand and you know, that's, uh, that's uh, you know, pretty admirable. I, I enjoy it, at least. Um, yeah, yeah, we just feel, you know, like a lot of people, especially with the internet these days, you know, rather mouths talk shit on different, everyone has twisted perspectives of Haggis and what we are and stuff, and hmm. I just feel like there's so many bands, you know, you don't like it, fuck off, go listen to something you do like, you know? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, what do you guys uh, think about the festival so far? It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rapid Decay's been great. Huge yeah. thanks to Paul for getting us out here. We played last night. Uh, yeah, great set, great show. Really looking forward to seeing all the bands tonight. Yeah, man. Uh, who's the band you guys are most looking forward to tonight? G.O.D. G.O.D., definitely, yeah. yeah. Awesome. For both of us, yeah. Uh, we actually have a split 7-inch with them in the works, which will be all covers from both bands. Cool. So we chose, uh, like I was saying before, we mostly listened to Crust and Punk. We are doing... State of Fear, Disrupt, and a Consume cover for our site, so looking nice. forward for that, and yeah, G.O.D. <laughs> awesome. Definitely. Deterioration, uh, too. Yeah, Deterioration, uh, yeah, yeah. yep, the Kai. I've so, seen a lot of shirts, oh. Deterioration shirts. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. we've one. done quite a few tours with them, they're our yeah. they're good friends, but yeah, we never really get to see G.O.D., we're from opposite coasts, and yeah. they're Canadians, so yeah. Oh, then uh, I guess I won't hold you guys up too much longer. Uh, I guess the uh, last question, or not really a question, more just uh, what, do you, what do you guys have to say to the fans, uh, you know, any anything positive? Yeah, uh, we really appreciate all our fans and we've come a long way in five years and ever since we started, you know, we've done everything on my label and all DIY and I can't thank our fans enough, people who truly like support us, like it's all, it's all because of them where we are today and we wouldn't really have any recognition or be anywhere or have been able to travel the world if it wasn't for all these people supporting us and doing mail orders and wanting to fly us places and stuff so it's it's all for them and yeah we more than appreciate them all and yeah for all the people who don't like it uh yeah fuck off go find something you do like stop talking shit on the internet <laughs> <laughs> sweet uh cool well uh thanks a lot guys and uh thanks for sitting down with me and having a, a short little chat I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah, again, we're Haggis from California. Cool. Peace out. <laughs> Sweet, dudes.
Oh, come on.